Up now for Governor Ron DeSantis and his bid for the White House in 2024. It's reported he's cutting staff and shifting his campaign strategy with a little more than a month until the first Republican debate. Our DC Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, Governor Ron DeSantis faces a bit of a cash crunch and despite his fundraising challenges, remains second in the polls. Will you please make welcome Governor Ron DeSantis. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in Arlington, Virginia Monday. It's there he took the stage of the Christian United for Israel summit. To stand with the state of Israel to mobilize millions and millions of Christians, not just in the United States, but even around the world. DeSantis is in full campaign mode, raising $20 million, but already burning through $8 million in six weeks, a quarter on travel and payroll. And it comes amid a shakeup with his team after he reported reportedly let go roughly a dozen staffers with plans to reset his media strategy and focus on critical early battleground states. DeSantis trails former President Donald Trump in the polls, the 2024 frontrunner for the Republican nomination, who called out the Florida governor's absence at the Turning Point Action Conference in West Palm Beach. I don't know why he's not here this couple of days, but he should be here. He should be here representing himself. DeSantis campaigned in the Midwest. Hello, Iowa! And then Tennessee, where he took aim at President Joe Biden. My wife and I were in Iowa earlier today, and so this is the second state on our agenda. Uh, Biden, I think, has been in two states, too, today. Uh, confusion and disorientation. And so far, President Biden said he has raised $72 million in his re-election bid. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, ben